I'll go back to Australia in about a week. I'll chill out with Matt a little bit more. Go back to Australia and I'm going to have... Yo, 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 what's going on Team Twitty? I hope you're all super well. Last day of training for the week. Matt's got his bag. I don't have mine. I'm not actually training with the team today. This session is more for them to work on like set pieces and things like that. I still want to go down because this is the last time that I'm going to see most of these guys. And I was speaking with Jeff last night. I, I made friends with most of the team, man. They've accepted me and it's a shame and it's sad to say goodbye because I have some good banter with a lot of them. But that's how the football world works, man. So won't be training today. Yesterday was my last training with Tulsa. My agent actually texted me this morning, Jeff, and he said that we, they kind of have a plan for me. Now, I have a little bit of an idea of what this plan may be, and it's one that I didn't really expect to have. I'm just talking about my plan, mate, or the plan that they're kind of setting for me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's one that I definitely didn't expect, I would say, which is something I should have expected because I remember you said to me the other day, and it kind of stuck in your mind, and you chuckled to yourself when I first came. I said, oh, yeah. It'd be a failure to me if I didn't sign by the end of October. Yeah, yeah, and I, it's hard because you don't want to be like, oh, that's not going to happen, but like, I'm, obviously I've been through it five years yeah. now, and I know just how rare that is, and how even if you are a seasoned pro with lots of experience, mm. you still can be dragged along until January. Exactly, so that's a video, I want to do a whole thing about what I've learned from this experience, because I've taken away so much, I just have to apply it for the mm -hmm. future, which is exciting, but yeah, training today for you, I won't be involved, I'll be up in the stands, so you just put out a new video as well? Yep, just put one out. What's finally. it about? Uh, just typical vlog. Typical <laughs> vlog, life. go check it out, link will be in the description, but let's head off to training. Just a bit of possession drill they're doing now. So that's it that I'm gonna show you for the training session. It looks like now they're just doing some sort of set piece work, working on the shape. I'm watching it with a kill. How you going, mate? You good? <laughs> so I had a brief conversation with Jeff before they started their session. And nothing was said about what sort of plans he has in mind for me. But I did have a chat with one of the players and I spoke with them about what I think they kind of have in store for me, about what the agency has in mind and the plan. And he actually was pretty for it. He explained like the situation, how the calendar of games works with different leagues. And I kind of went, wow, that actually does work out. So we'll see if that's the case. And I think I'm pretty for it, man. Like I will explain a lot more about it and the situation and the sort of opportunity. But again, I don't even know what the opportunity is yet or what the plan is yet. I'm kind of just making things up in my head, but we should find out after this session. I think I'll go get food with Matt or I'll go get food. And then later on today, I'll go see Jeff or I'll have a phone call with Jeff and kind of figure out what the steps forward are because I don't know, man, I think it's pretty exciting if we go ahead with what I'm thinking. It's not ideal, but it can still work out pretty well. So we'll see. Session done, mate. What do you think of it? It's good, just a typical pregame session, so. Easy, some rondos, passing, a um, little bit of tactical stuff, and then corners kick. So it was like, what, like an hour 15, hour 20 minutes? Yeah, it felt a lot longer for me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but in the rain today, a bit different. Yeah. Thoughts? It was nice. It's so much nicer to play in that instead of 100 degrees and sunny. Yeah. So I, I was happy. Decent, decent. Yeah, yeah, good. So Matt and I have been home for a bit. We're heading out to see your parents. They've arrived in town for the game, which is tomorrow. Yep. I think I'm gonna do another full vlog of your routine and kinda, it'll be interesting to see if there's any difference in what you do, what you eat. Yeah. Kinda just do two rather than just a one-off. <laughs> yeah, any difference between my rest all day long and just chilling. <laughs> yep. <laughs> 
it's not the only thing that's gonna be different is the Netflix. I'll probably watch something a little bit different. I might watch a different series on Netflix instead of The Office, but yeah. you never know. <laughs> well, we'll see. That'll be tomorrow's video. But we're heading off to dinner. Well, we're gonna chill for a bit and then dinner with Matt's family, the Sheldons. <laughs> that's so weird to say, the man. Sheldons. But I still haven't heard from the agent. You're not too surprised. It should come soon. But that's the thing, you never can bank on like things happening in a day. Everything Literally takes everything. A long time. So people you just have to get back to people and it thinks a delay. Or just, uh, I, you never get your hopes up. Yeah. Kind of like, we'll see. So that's why I'm like, being with Matt, I learned a lot about, you know, physique, football, and then outside of football as well. Because you've obviously been through this a lot. So yeah. it's a little bit frustrating for me, but you're kind of like, eh. No. <laughs> exactly, honestly, all this is exactly what I expected. Yep, not for me. <laughs> now I am. Just sat down and recorded the last part of the video that you guys watched the other day with Matt. I now have a phone call with the agent, which is exciting. Mm -hmm. I've been waiting for this since two o'clock. Yeah. So, look, I'm hoping things come good. Are you gonna stay up and wait? Yeah, yeah, I'll brush my teeth. And... Okay, cool. Yeah. So, I'll let you know. Um, I'm gonna make a phone call now. Sounds Let's good. do it. Yeah. First thing you say is that was quick. Yeah. yeah. Guess what? Huh? You got a guess? I I mean I heard they're gonna meet with him tomorrow. Yeah. That's... We just <laughs> we made tomorrow and talk. Yep. Wait, nice, nice. <laughs> wait, wait more time. Yeah. So look, I don't know. I kind of have an idea, and I've spoken with you about it, and it seems like it seems like it's the approach that they want to take. It's not necessarily what I want to do, mm -hmm. but it's still. Decent. I don't know. We'll find out tomorrow. Yeah, it is. It's the long term. You're always in it for the long yeah. term. Yeah. yeah. Especially because I'm young as well. 22. 22 in the U.S. I feel is quite young. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's like, what uh, most people are still. I was even still in college. I think. It, yeah, I was in college still at 22. Everyone in your team, like, I don't think, what you have Fred 22 and Mason and Mason and oh well he's 22 yeah that's three everyone else is like 25 26 mm -hmm. 24 maybe yeah so it's everyone's old here man <laughs> yeah, that's how it is it's true yeah yeah so I've even been referred to as a young player this year really mm -hmm. wow yeah. it's a different world yeah, in, in Australia or maybe in, in England great example yeah everyone's like oh my god I'm 20 dude yeah, exactly. I'm not gonna make it. I remember in Germany, I was over there as a 23 year old, and people were like, What are you, like, you're an old player, what are you doing? And in yeah. America, the same exact thing, your thing, I was the rookie. Yeah. Like, I went from being always in the middle of the 5v2s going to Germany, and people being like, So you're a senior player now. I'm like, I don't feel like a senior <laughs> player. That's <laughs> what happens. So we'll find out more news tomorrow, but again, just another waiting game. It's like the last three days, it's just been, All right, yeah, we're gonna talk, we're gonna talk. <laughs> Welcome to the world of professional soccer. <laughs> That's how it works. Oh man, well, tomorrow will be the day, I hope. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh man. Okay, it looks, well, I wanna explain to you the situation because obviously this is a big decision. This is something I've spoken a lot with the agency. I've spoken a lot with Jeff. I've spoken a lot with Matt about. This really isn't an easy decision. So I came over to America, the United States to try and sign in a professional league. Now, in America, they have the MLS, which is the top division, then they have the USL Championship, and it now currently goes the USL League One and the NISA League, which they're both tied for the third division. And so those are the professional leagues, and that's what I came for. Now, man, it looks like how it's going. Don't get me wrong, I really feel like I've come over here and I've learned so much trialing with the Roughnecks. That trial didn't prove to be successful, but on a personal note, I felt like I learned a lot. I was able to live with Matt, learn about my body, learn about foods, and I, overall I think, yes, I didn't get signed, but I think it was successful. You can't ever expect to just get signed on your first trial. I think Matt said he was on 14 trials before he signed his first pro contract. The problem that we're really finding here in the US, and something with Tulsa, for example, like the international players, the foreign players is difficult. In the NISA league as well, you can't sign players until January. So it's tough, man. It's very tough in another state. I can't get citizenship to the US. I am classed a foreigner. So being a young foreigner with no professional experience, it is difficult, man. Like I said, these clubs are looking for players who have that professional experience and are maybe a bit older. So I've spoken with Jeff a bit. I've spoken with Matt. I've spoken with the agency and 
it really looks like this is going to be the plan going forward. So I've sent out a ton of emails and not many people are getting back to me for different reasons, whatever, we don't know. The agents have put their feelers out and it looks like there's no real interest right now. The plan is to go back to Australia. I'm kind of thinking like, man, I might stay for another week to see if something comes up. If something comes up, then yeah, great. But I don't know, I, I'm not locking myself down. I, if I'm honest with you, I, this is what I think is gonna happen. I'll go back to Australia in about a week. I'll chill out with Matt a little bit more, go back to Australia and I'm going to have like a little bit of an off season and I'll come back in January ready for the PDL or MPSL season. Now that's a semi-pro league, but what that will do is it allows me to kind of establish myself in America. That's the whole goal I've spoken with the agents about. I need to be established in the US and going through the PDL and the MPSL is probably the, one of the best ways to do it. So that's kind of on the cards. Then, you know, I've also got to weigh up, do I go to Asia and chase a professional contract over there or do I kind of stick to this US opportunity? But man, like, you know, I'm not gonna change my ticket yet. I'll probably change my ticket like the day before I wanna go in about a week. But man, it's, you know, it is a little bit disappointing that I am leaving so early, but I think it's great. I've taken away a lot of connections from this. I've come over, I've met the agents in person. I've met Matt over here. I've formed some connections with Tulsa, whether it's with the coaches or the players as well. So overall, I think it's been super positive, a very good experience for me to come over here and learn a whole lot, form connections, and then next year really attack it. But like I said, yeah, it's a little bit upsetting that nothing came of it, but I mean, we just go again, <laughs> we go again the next year. And for the next, you know, week or two, I'll hammer away, see if I can put together something, but we'll see, man. We'll see, that's kind of the path it's looking to be, which is, you know, there's always benefits with it, but I'd love to kind of stay around and have some pro charge, but what can you do? So I'm gonna head off, I'm gonna go to sleep, I, I don't know, it's, a, it's frustrating, man, but hey, we just gotta, you know, this is the process we gotta take. It's once, like, going down to PDL and PSL, it's taking one step backwards to go two steps forward, so we'll see what happens. And, you know, who knows, I might not even come back here. We just don't know right now. Um, you know, things could change very quickly. But I'll end the video there. Team Tweety, I'm Sun Out. Make sure you like on the show. Subscribe and hit join Jenny. I'll see you next week.